Hello guys and welcome to part 2 of how to create, uh, to exit and enter a vehicle within Unity. So this time the very first thing we are going to do is go to the standard assets, first person char uh, characters, first person character, scripts, first person controller. Here we are going to create a new variable, a public bool can move. And we are going to change it, uh, are going to have here, if can move, then everything here can happen. Because what we are going to do is going to make that if you are on a vehicle, you can't move anymore. So we can just turn on and off this uh, bull and you can't move or you can move. We have to do the same within the whole fixed update. So if and um, if I'm right, I'm not sure yet. You can't uh, move anymore if can move is turned on. And just to to show you guys that, let's see, is everything? Yeah, yeah, convert, convert, whatever. We are just going to get what in Unity. So we're going to find that variable that's standing here. And as you can see, we can now walk around. Oh, we can't. Can move. We can't move around because this is turned on. I'm sorry. If you turn this off, you can't move, but you can still look around because you still want to look around when you are in your vehicle. Uh, at least if you're in a kind of game like Grand Theft Auto or something else. So as you can see, it works. Um, you normally have to turn this on. And now what we're going to do within our driver script here, where we stopped last time, is, um, oh, first we're going to create um, a public first person controller, FPC. And we are going here, we are going to set can move we are going to set it to false. So we can't actually move anymore. Then you are going to set the, um, we are also going to create another variable, a public transform ve vehicle trans. So we can change the transform of it. Uh, um, yeah. So that's just, hit vehicles i dot transform and we set this game object to layer 13 i think we first have to make that sure we have that right so you just go to fair edit project settings text and layers and change here um, the layer, well, just do 13 because we already assigned that and change to, um, um, well, character, oh, character, I'm still, so that's better, character, um, well, you can call it whatever, but I'm just going to leave it right here. And we are going to get to the um, project settings. Oh, and we are going to create a new uh, layer called vehicle. Oh, that was not what I want to do. Vehicle. And you can now go to the project settings physics. I'm still recording, right? Yeah. Then go to uh, vehicle and character. So that's this one. And just turn this off so we now at this moment within the script we change the uh, game object of uh, the layer of the game object so also the, uh, the what do you call it the collision uh, the collider of it so it won't uh, collide with uh, the vehicle but you can still uh, shoot the player and still get shot and things like that we are also going to make another variable called public 
ريشت بودي um, vehicle ريشت and that's just because I'm going to drive it within a red ريشت بودي but you can uh, well that's why I'm uh, doing it right uh, I'm assigning this variable but maybe you need to assign all variables because you're using another drive script then this is the place where you need to assign those vehicle trends uh, dot get component dot reset body and we are going to set the current seed dot using is true so nobody else can get on the vehicle and what we're also going to do is i is count so now it is um, you won't uh, get the for loop anymore because you already cut uh, within a vehicle you don't want to do it over and over and over again what we're now going to make is i think do we still have time yeah i think so we are going to create another void and at the end in the last tutorial or maybe one before that we're going to just make sure the whole system works and for that we are not going to do that we're just going to create different voids so this void is called uh, go uh, or enter vehicle then you are going to uh, make the transform this transform dot position you are going to um, change it the factor 3 to uh, you're going to lure it between two positions your own position of course transform dot position and from the current seat from that the place so that's the game object you assigned earlier and from that the transform and from that position and you do this within the time we made that uh, one we put that here to zero and here it is zero but we are also going to change that because we're going to add to time time dot delta time um, and you can you are going to multiply it by time to go in vehicle um, you can also call that variable time to enter vehicle but that's from my last time and I did a uh, didn't think of enter but whatever now we are going to check if time is bigger than one because if it is bigger than one that means you are within a car um, so the very first thing you are going to do is set the parent from this uh, object to um, the I'm sorry guys you set the parent of this uh, of this transform so from the player to uh, the transform of the current uh, seed so you got a claim object you assigned it somewhere and it is somewhere at this vehicle for example it is right um, here is standing an a claim object by my mouse and you just assign your uh, character also to there just to make sure you won't get weird uh, issues uh, when you are rotating and things like that so that's just to make sure you don't uh, and you already got that uh, object so why won't you use it so currency place dot transform and here set the local position just to make sure that uh, this uh, local position this this is just going all right because for some reason maybe there's an error and it just skipped a frame and you didn't go to the right position it's still halfway or whatever we just going to make sure the low the position is the right position and it's a new factor three and from that zero 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 and now we're going to get something uh, i can solve i have to say but if you can solve it please put it in the comment section and just let me know so I can uh, so you can help me improve this system and also help yourself and other uh, people who need this because if you change the local uh, rotation of this uh, of the character 
it will still change it back due to this script. And whatever I did, I just let the script crash and didn't make it that you could just change the variable and still look around. So that's why I can say you how to change local rotation to uh, zero, zero, zero. But uh, that's not a problem, I think. Um, you know, that's just a little, uh, a little bug, but not something uh, very important. Also, um, what did work, and that's a little bit, that's a little bit something else, and you can do it, but it works sometimes and sometimes not. Um, but we can, most times it works. I don't know why it sometimes isn't working, but what we're going to do is change the current seat that transform, we're going to ro rotate it just to make sure it will just make it uh, all right where you were standing or where you were looking at. So the rotation is uh, a new quaternation of zero. 180 minus the transform dot local rotation of the ix or yeah and zero and zero this should work um, it worked by my most times but not always as i said and if and we're going to create a new bool called public Bool is driving and now we're going to check if the current seat dot driver is true then is driving is also true so you can actually drive this car um, and I don't know how much time I recorded this I guess around 8 minutes or so but um, that was it for this tutorial. Next time we are going to create uh, the go out and the driving part, maybe in the tutorial after that. And within the last tutorial, we are also going to create, set up everything within the scene and uh, put the last things together in the start and update void. So I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please leave a like or a subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.